Okay, it appears the newest COVID variant has a troubling trick up its sleeve. Earlier on in this pandemic, public health leaders told us getting COVID would protect us from reinfection, at least for a little while. But the newest and most infectious version, dubbed BA5, appears to have found a way around that, meaning even a prior infection might not protect you. NBC Barry's Alyssa Gore joins us from the South Bay, where residents say they're noticing more reinfections. Well, the latest federal data indicates that at COVID testing sites like this one across the country, the BA5 subvariant now makes up more than 50% of COVID-19 cases. At the Santa Clara County Fairgrounds COVID-19 testing site, people keep lining up to find out they've been infected. My girlfriend tested positive recently, so I'm just trying to take extra precaution and make sure I'm, I'm good. Andre Lai said his girlfriend went two and a half years without getting COVID until now. With the recent surge and stuff and, uh, you know, I'm just more cautious. You know, some of my own family members got infected and just recovered. Stanford infectious disease doctor Abrar Karan says he thinks his family got the highly transmissible BA5 subvariant. He says he has firsthand experience with just how quickly Omicron has evolved. He got earlier versions first in June, then again in May. It's going to be harder and harder for people to make it through these waves without getting infected. Early data suggests the new variant is more easily transmissible, even outdoors, and is far more vaccine resistant. Quran says getting vaccinated and boosted still make it less likely that you'll get hospitalized. But without more efforts to filter air or encourage high quality masking, Quran worries we'll be exposed to repeat infections and more risk. We also need to be clear with people that we don't know for sure what it means for your morbidity and long term to get repeat infections like this. So Quran is watching the data closely, just like many of us are too. There's still so much more information to learn. It's it's really hard to tell how this is going to be, you know, a year from now. In San Jose, Alyssa Gord, NBC Bay Area News.